Texas Entertainment Network. My name is Fiona Bentley, and today we will be interviewing the cast members of the highly anticipated football feature film, Thunder Rush. Today we want to welcome to the studio leading lady Lolithia Oliver and actress Evangeline Gabriel Young. How are you doing today, ladies? Doing fine. Awesome. Firstly, can you tell us the names of your characters and the roles that you play in the film? Okay. Well, I play the character of Bessie Mae Christian, um, and she is the mother of Bo James, um, and uh, she's a very um, Christian, strong, independent woman who loves her family. Yes. And I play the part of Gladys Bradshaw, and uh, Bo is my nephew. And Bessie May is my sister. <laughs> and uh, I'm just a crazy one in the family. That's it. <laughs> okay. You both have extensive backgrounds in stage and acting. Share that experience with us and also tell us what made you both want to pursue acting. Well, I've been, uh, according to my mother, I've been acting all of my life from elementary to now, and uh, I have a movie coming, I'm shooting in March, then I have a play production coming in uh, in March called Conflicts and Confessions, and what motivates me to act is people, the surrounding actors that I get to know, producers and directors, so it's the family of acting that I love, that's what motivates me to act. Um, and I've been acting uh, since I was a little girl in church, I started out in church um, doing uh, plays and dramas, and um, I went to school, uh, U of H, uh, and I started doing film. Uh, my first film was Jason's Lyrics, and so I was an uh, um, extra there, and after that it just enhanced to other movies, uh, Lifetime films, and um, currently I was chosen to be a gospel recording artist by the Lord, and so I'm currently working on a new album. Um, called Loose the Shackles. And uh, what motivates me is to see uh, the different things and places you can take someone else um, and how you can just be creative and not have to be yourself. Um, so that's, that's interesting to me. How did you hear about Thunder Rush? And what made you want to get involved with the movie? Well, I heard about <laughs> the uh, movie Thunder Rush from Ed. Um, Ed um, told me, he had, I think he had just seen me act, and he said, I have a part for you in my movie. Like, okay, you know, because I've already done 20 some movies, been on 30 some plays, <laughs> so I'm like, okay. And I, you know, I just never asked him what did he see, but whatever he saw, he was pleased with, and I'm uh, forever grateful to him for even seeing that and asking me to be a part of Thunder Rush, because <laughs> it has been a thunder and a rush. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, um, I've worked with um, Ed for a while in his uh, first project, Join at the Heart. And um, so when he started this project, he gave me a call and said he had a part for me, just for me. And um, it was wonderful, and it really fit who I am as a person. Um, and it's, it's been a wonderful journey. Um, you know, he is a person that loves the the um, 70s and 80s and 90s era so <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you know to allow us to be able to just you know dress in those yes. times was amazing yes. you know to to the hairstyles yes. was amazing and um, so it was really exciting to see okay can you describe your experience working with Ed as well as how was it working with Ed on the set as a director? You go first. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Ed always try to bring out the best in you. Uh, he pushes you. Uh, he doesn't just take good. You know, he wants great uh, and uh, very on time person. And he really lets you, you know, do be you and bring that character out. So it was amazing on set. And we had a lot of fun. The cast is awesome. Uh, so we had a lot of, of fun together. 
Well, well for me, it's pretty exciting. I can be a, uh, uh, I don't know, sometimes they call it strong personality. So sometimes Brother Ed would ask me something and I would just look him upside his head. <laughs> but I'm like, okay, let me get this one. I'd always ask him, let me give him what he's asking for because he is um, one director that knows what he wants. Yeah. Um, he knows his skill, he knows his storyline, so he knows what he wants from you. And so that makes it easier for you since he knows what he wants. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go figure it out, and that's what I appreciate about working on the set with him. Mm -hmm. um, his uh, enthusiasm and his love for what he do. Mm -hmm. I have to give him credit for that. He is, he, oh, he loves this. He, yes. he loves this to the bone, you know. So <laughs> that's what makes it exciting, working with him, because he knows what he wants. And uh even if he can't express it, he knows how to tell it, this is what I want. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. And he'll walk off. He don't come back and want to mm -hmm. describe it five times. This is what I want. You got it? <laughs> <laughs> Do either of you have present or future projects that you are working on? Um, yes, I do. Well, I have a um, series coming out called Fifth Ward that I'm a character in. Uh, it was filmed here in Houston, uh, directed by Greg Carter. And then I have another movie I'm getting ready to work on in March called Lost Ways, written by Michael Jackson, directed by Greg Carter. And then I have a play coming in, uh, coming up called Conflicts and Confessions, and it's written by Sharon Drivers, and you can pull it up on Facebook. And, um, and then I have a concert that I'm doing on the 22nd with Lady Beatrice Ward, because I sing. So um, things are really happening. Things are really good. And so, and all I can say now is now I'm looking forward to seeing what Thunder Rush is going to be like <laughs> at the end. And so I'm grateful for the road and for the challenges and for the opportunities mm -hmm. that God has blessed me. Even to meet Fiona today, it's a blessing all by itself. Yes. So I give kudos to Ed for that. Aww. Well, that is a beautiful thing to see you so busy out there and inspired. <laughs> I love it. Well, I am uh, currently working on my album, my second album, uh, which is Loose the Shackles. So I'm really excited about where God has taken me with that. Um, the music that he's given me is amazing. Um, and then he also put in my spirit a new talk show called Girls Talk. So I'm uh, presently working on that being um, coming out soon, uh, hopefully this year. So I'm excited and uh, can't wait to see what happened with Thunder Rush. I know it's going to be amazing. You know, Joined yes. at the Heart was amazing, and Thunder Rush is going to be even better. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a great film. And the last question, ladies, is why should people go and see Thunder Rush? Because... First of all, it's family oriented. Mm -hmm. The whole family can sit down and watch it and you ain't got to cover your child's eyes right. or anything like that or plug up their ears or anything like that. Uh, it's motivating, yes. it's encouraging, and then you get to see the heart of our director and our producer mm -hmm. yes. and so uh, and his writer as a writer too. Mm -hmm. And also too, you will see some phenomenal acting, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, somewhere in this story, you will find yourself. Yes. And so, the way he wrote it is that you can't miss anybody from the mother to the son, from the school to the football. Some of us have been in all these places at one time. Uh, if we've not been there, we're probably going to go there. Yeah. So we want to thank God that, that Ed wrote something <laughs> called Thunder Rush to let you know that it's okay to have a vision and a dream. Yes. Just yes. pursue it because things are going to happen along that road, along that way. Yeah. And you can't stop things from happening, mm -mm. but it don't stop you from letting things happen in your life. Yes. Yes. And so that's what I love about Thunder Rush. Yes. And it's going to be a Thunder Rush because uh, Ed is going to take you through so many feelings uh, while you're watching this film uh, from happiness to sadness, you know, to tragedy. So um, it's, it's amazing to see how he wrote that. Um, and how it can touch so many hearts. And it will help a lot of people heal. Yes. It'll help a lot of people reach back and, you know, maybe call their loved ones that they haven't spoken to in a while. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Well, this ends the interview for today. And I want to thank the both of you, Lavinia and Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. <laughs>